Hey guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a pretty quick tip for you on how to set up XPMC to have a bigger buffer. So a lot of time when you're trying to stream stuff on the XPMC uh, over the internet, you might get a little bit of stutter and lag. And that's because the buffer is set up uh, with a very standard uh, default values and the values might be a little bit small. So uh, I'm using an XPMC uh, Android box here and uh, yeah, you can change these. So it really depends on your box or your computer that you run the XPMC on. You can change this setting to various different settings. So the information is pretty much straight up from the Kodi wiki. I will give you a link to that in the description box below the like button. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the setting I'm using. So this box here is a MyGeekle TV box and it has about one gigabyte of RAM. I'm gonna go ahead and set up about 150 megabyte for the buffer and uh, that should be enough to keep me from being lagging and stutter while I'm watching streaming videos. Alright guys, so what you want to do is you want to go to the program section and uh, there you should have an add-on installer option. Just click on that and uh, that will take you to the uh, little add-on installer. So there's various ways you can get to this but my quickest way to get to this is to do the search option. And all you have to do is just search for the word setting and press done. This will give you a few different uh, search results. Uh, but the one you want to use is the easy advanced setting. And we're going to go ahead and install that. Take about a few seconds here. So after finishing installing, you can just go back. If you go back to the main program setting here, you will now have a uh, Android app and program app add-on. Just go ahead and click on program add-on. And here you can see some of the uh, other add-on. And the one you want to click is just easy advanced setting. So that's the 8.8.8 uh, .8 here version. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and hit the edit button. So right now, uh, the way XMBMC works is that you need an XML in order to change these little default values. So I'm going to go ahead and go down to network and pick network again. And then here, the three values that you want to mess with is the cache memory buffer size, buffer mode, and rebuffer. Again, the wiki will explain to you what mode you need to use. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change these three values here. This is going to be the uh, maximum uh, amount of uh, memory that I want to use uh, on uh, for the buffering. So I'm going to use 150 megabyte here. So here is the values that I'm using, 157286400. Uh, this is the example number four on the wiki. So that's basically the example I'm going to use. Uh, for buffer mode, we will pick a f uh, an option here. So zero buffer all the internet file system, one buffer file and internet and local. I'm going to go ahead and pick one. That's the setting we want to use here and finally for the rebuffer factor so for your setting here I'm gonna use 20 because that is what the example giving and it works pretty well so after you change your setting uh, nothing is actually affect yet you're just basically changing the setting you need to go back up to the main uh, setting screen and what you want to do is you want to write this file so go ahead one more fold up and then now we want to write the XML file go ahead and click that and now it tells you that it wrote an XML file and you can see now you have the option to remove it. And I believe you do have to restart XM, uh, VMC to get this going. I'm not too sure about this, but I usually just go ahead and restart this just to be sure. So we're gonna head and queue this app and go back to it. So guys, that's pretty much about it. Uh, when you have the setting in place, it's good now. Uh, so this should work if you're having a uh, you know a slow connection or you're just having a kind of like you know in and out connection, especially on Wi-Fi. This will really help uh, to buffer a little bit longer. So initially, beginning your video, it will buffer a little bit longer, but then you're not gonna have to stutter every one or two seconds, which is quite frustrating. So guys, that's pretty much my quick tip video. Please like the video and subscribe if you think it helped you, and uh, stay tuned for my future videos. Thanks.